Welcome to another lesson by Equespresso. And today I'm going to be talking about what to look out for before buying a coffee vending machine. Um, when buying a coffee vending machine, you really want to look at three major things. Number one, what coffee does that machine use? And that really comes to, is it either, it really comes in two, 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 two options, either instant or bean. Um, instant machines are typically known by Nescafe machines or Nescafe coffee machines use Nescafe, which is an instant coffee. Bean machines are ones where your quality of coffee or, or the, the type of coffee is that which is used in restaurants, which is a bean coffee. Um, instant coffee is cheaper, uh, but not as, as high quality as beans, where beans is obviously a higher quality, but more expensive. So depending on where you want the machine, depends on which option to really go for. The second thing to look out for is canisters. How many canisters does the vending machine have? Um, obviously the more canisters, the more options you have. And it really, it really comes to what are you looking for? You need to have really at least three canisters. Um, three canisters will allow you to make coffee, cappuccino, um, your, or your, your, your coffee and milk drinks with sugar and without sugar. So your three canisters will be used for one for coffee, one for milk, milk and one for sugar. Um, if you want to add canisters, they usually come in the form of a hot chocolate canister, that will be number four, and sometimes even a tea canister, number five. You can still in some instances get a sixth canister, which is for soup, again, depending on how much you want the machine to do. The more canisters you do get, however, the more the price increases. So try and choose something which really matches what you want. If you only want coffees and cappuccinos with the sugars and no sugar options, then three canisters is perfect. So the second thing to look out for is the number of, of canisters in the machine. The last thing you want to look out for, and it's a very, very important consideration, is, is how will the machine get its water? Coffee vending machines by nature don't have built-in water tanks, so you either need to plumb the machines in, or you can in some instances get a pump mechanism where the machine can be hooked up to a separate water tank and then draw its water from there. You want to make sure that the machine you choose, if you don't have plumbing, can be hooked up uh, to, a, to a separate water tank because not all vending machines can. So just make sure before you, you, you purchase or rent a machine that if you don't have plumbing that the machine can be hooked up to one of these sources. I have unfortunately seen too many cases where companies have bought machines and then literally been able to do nothing with it. So very, very, very important. Look at the plumbing options of the machine, what its water capabilities are. And that's it. Thank you very much.